The longbow is one of the best weapons in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and they just added an aftermarket part that makes it even stronger. So in this video, we're going to unlock it, take it in game, max it out, try it in the tier 3 zone, try it against the Mega Abomination and the Red Worm World boss fight. If you want to see more Pack-a-Punch testing videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. The only challenge I have left to unlock this is getting 100 kills with a scope sniper rifle. So a quick little grind montage. And there we go. Weekly challenge completed. Boom. Aftermarket part unlocked. One more kill for the road. Oh. Uh, oh, oh. Ah! One more kill for the road. Ah! What we just unlocked was the Jack Tyrant 762 kit for the longbow. The benefits of this are is it allows for tax stance, a buff to max damage range, extra damage, and less ADS speed. Then for the negatives, bullet velocity, gun kick control, recoil control, and damage fall off. All right, let's switch back. I won't mind with the camel on it. There we go. Unfortunately, it looks like it's a little bit bugged out. It let me put the 40 round mag on it in the menu. However, as you can see, if I reload this, uh, there's only 20 bullets. So I'm guessing the aftermarket part is supposed to block the magazine size and stop you from using the 40, but it does allow you to put it on. But if you load in game, you, you don't get the 40 round mag. You're just stuck with 20, which is kind of unfortunate. The 40 round mag is one of the reasons I really like the longbow. Holy crap. The aftermarket part shreds in the tier one zone. Crack, it's a one shot headshot. Not like every other gun in the entire game, including the full auto weapons that have 100 bullets are also a one-shot headshot. That one-shot toe shot, though. Um, I don't think so. That is the important question everybody cares about. So let's say you just absolutely love feet and it's kind of your main thing and you only shoot zombies in the feet because that's your fetish. Actually, hold on. I think it is, yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, it, it is It is a sniper. It, it kind of makes sense. I think it probably does without the aftermarket part. But yeah, look at that. You got a massive foot fetish. This gun, um, this gun will get the job done in the tier one zone. Unupgraded. I do like that it's subsonic. It's super quiet. Like you can tell that they changed the ammo type on here. It's almost like it, I don't have a suppressor on it, but it sounds like I have a suppressor on it. All right, I'm enjoying it, but we should probably go pack this. Wait, crack, pick me up. All right, bye bye, Heli. Oh wow, you can see the drop in the sky. Is it doing anything to the Heli? Uh, I mean, technically it is doing something, but we ain't taking that down. So you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to dodge, Craig, even though the helicopter pretty much never takes down the vehicles because they're kind of garbage. All right, come on. Give me something great. Come on, game. Come on, game. Spoil me. <laughs> Uncommon ether tool. Not the spoiling I was looking for. All right, Craig, off to new adventures together. I do like sniping off the top of vehicles. It is very satisfying. All right, pick up the bounty contract. Oh, and camp. Okay. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right, it's a mimic. Oh yeah, I didn't even test out the tax stance should work on this. So if we ADS and go to melee, yeah, you can now tax stance the longbow. This was not possible before. Honestly, if I make a full tax stance build, this might actually be really good because this isn't even built for tax stance right now, and it's I mean it's popping zombies. It's it's very accurate. I'm making a tax stance build after this. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun in tax stance. Oh, I should probably go for the bounty. I got sidetracked. All right, mimic, let's see what we do against you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, not in love. Not in love. Not in love. Go for Craig. Go for Craig. Am I allowed to shoot now? No. Craig, I'm going to take it down all by myself. I'm a big boy. I got big boy pants on. I can I can handle a bounty. Uh, got him. Oh, PhD. Yay. It will protect you from nothing. No, no, no. No, no. There's still a use for PhD, Craig. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. I think my reward is very telling of how this game's going to go. It gave me exactly what it knew I was going to need. Quick revive. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What do you mean by that? I mean, the game that. just knows you're going to go down and I need quick revive. Okay, let's see who goes down first. Wait, how did I ping the vehicle when I'm in it? What? It says enemy vehicle. Craig, are, are you going to double cross me? Free pack, free pack, free pack, free pack, free pack, free pack. And stamina. We're getting one perk at a time. Oh, these are tier two zombies. Actually, even being unpacked, it's killing these tier two zombies. All right. I like the tax stance. Believe it or not, I kind of shrugged off the tax stance part of it. The tax stance is a lot of fun to use on a sniper. This might be my favorite. Okay. If I can hit shots, this might be my favorite part of the aftermarket part uh, when I'm actually hitting my shots with it. All right. Pack this bad boy. Oh, wow. And now it's... Oh, wait. Is this not a one shot in tier two being packed? Oh, it doesn't even one shot armored zombies in tier two being packed. It's, it's only pack one. You're right. Shouldn't write it off yet. There's tons of room for improvement. All right, Mangler. One shot. Two shot. Three shot. Okay. Oh, I'll just spam it. I'm not going to count the shots because we can spam quick with this anyway. So took them down quick, but 
not as quick as I would have liked. Oh, and great. Another uncommon ether tool. Oh. <laughs> All right, Craig, you just keep pouring up. I'm just going to snipe him from here. <laughs> we got to get 300 kills with it. Might, might as well just snipe. I mean, it is a sniper after all. The thing about sniping in zombies, I haven't had a single zombie DM me yet complaining about hard scoping. Not a single one. What if I'm in tax stance? Do you think I can attack stance from here? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I did. Oh, oh, zombie, zombie. Yeah. Oh, and yes, it is still shooting two bullets at once. I didn't test this out, but um, the special feature for the longbow when it's pack-a-punched is it actually shoots two bullets every time you pull the trigger and putting on this aftermarket part doesn't change that. You still get that special effect when packed. Uh, mm, Craig, I am now realizing one of the downsides of being a sniper. I don't get ammo drops. So I'm uh, I'm gonna need to come close real quick to get, to get some ammo. Don't mind me. Holy crap, I get 75 bullets from one ammo drop. I wonder how many times I'm gonna forget throughout this video, but just like the ray gun, every time I have the ray gun in any COD game, I always spam the trigger down, even though you don't need to. The ray gun is full auto. This sniper, when pack a punch, is full auto. So no need to tire out my hand. Just hold down the trigger. Wait a minute. There's a level up. Does that mean? Do no, no. Oh, there it is. Weapon challenge completed. That image that popped up looked nothing like the longbow, in my opinion. But 300 kills with gold. Finished. Tax ants built. Tax ants. Oh, I, I got shrimp on my hands. Wait, why is it in slow-mo? <laughs> Look at his hand. His hand. <laughs> What? I, I don't even know. But his hands in slow-mo when he cocks it back. Oh, wait. what? Huh? But I can shoot way fast. I, I don't even... I don't, I don't know. All right. We got a tax stance build. I'm hoping this is going to be good. This build is so fast. You would not think I'm using a sniper right now, but I am going really fast for having a sniper. I don't even got stamina up. I am just jetting with this. And look at that. Tax stance. Oh. 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 The animations when you're just spamming this look so weird. Like, what's in my hand right now doesn't even look like a gun. Big old sniper rifle with no stock. <laughs> Look, I'm on the catwalk. On the catwalk with the Draken. And then Black Ops 3 vibes. I just took a little bit of time invested in getting Speed Cola farming these kills. Would be a million times more enjoyable. But hindsight's 2020. Oh, wait. There's a level. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, and weapon challenge completed. Two out of four for the Ultra Master on the weapon. Hello? The server crash? Hello? <laughs> Woo! Wait, who's this? Is this Craig? Did, did Craig go down first? Oh no, Craig, what's that about? Here goes nothing. Let's see what this weapon could do in the tier three zone when it's max upgraded. I need some enemies. All right. Normal zombie, does it one shot? Yes, it one shots the normal zombie. All right, normal zombie in the foot. No. Ooh. Armored zombies, maybe? What about a headshot? Oh, well, that was an ammo mod. Oh, I think it does one tap armored zombies. All right. I mean, you're technically firing two bullets. Shut up. I don't know. Something about one tapping armored zombies is really satisfying. Not sure if you can do this without the aftermarket part. We'll test that out in just a second to see if it really is worth running this. But I can tell you, with the aftermarket part, there is a lot of damage. And this thing is shredding zombies. Oh, what about at range? Oh, yeah, you lose a little bit of range. You still got to hit a headshot. Maybe if we had a more magnification scope, we could kill zombies at this range. But I'd way rather have a more close range scope. I don't want to be rocking no four times trying to kill zombies at this close range. And the zombies are always going to be running towards you. So it's way better to have a more close range build than a far range build. Oh, and there's a mega abomination. Not quite ready for you. Oh, mimic. Perfect. All right, take care of all the fodder. Wait, where's the... Oh, there's a disciple behind me. All right, two bosses. All right, mimic. Very quick at taking down the Mimic. There are so many zombies here. There are so many zombies here. All right, well, I guess we'll just start spamming. We'll take out as many as we can. Come on, 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 come on. No big deal. Just backing herself into a corner. One of the most pro strombie strats you can possibly do. Let's see something real quick. If we go to reload, the reload speed's not terrible, but I kind of wish it was a little bit faster. Because even though we have 40 rounds in our magazine... It really is the same thing as having 20 rounds because if you look, like we discussed earlier, every time you shoot, you lose two bullets. So even though it's 40 rounds, it's really kind of 20 rounds. You're only going to pull the trigger 20 times before you have to reload. Oh, there's Mangler. All right, Mangler to the face. And, oh, oh, he's still alive. Never mind. And he's turned. Whoa, disables a vehicle really quickly. Oh, that is a disciple. That's what I want to test it against. Boom. And Disciple gone. Oh, and now for the Mega. All right, dogs, you're going to have to hop off, please. All right, start spamming into him. Base damage, not bad at all. Pops the eye really quickly. 
Oh, you can come through this tunnel. Another eye, another eye, another eye. Gone. Oh, yeah, here we go. Backing ourselves into a corner a second time. Because, you know, that's such a great strat in zombies. Oh, wow. And, and we're going to... Okay. Huh. Uh, we may or may not have got ourselves into a predicament. All right, one more eye left. Oh, this is... This is the end for you. Or not. You know, you know, if there weren't a million zombies here, it'd probably be a little bit easier to take them out. And down goes the Mega. And all of his friends can go with him. Oh, all that work for a pack crystal. This is a jam-packed tier three zone, this game. So as you can see, oh, I, can't, I just switched to third. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. How did I switch to third person? Is there a keybind on PC now? I don't know how I did that. So as you can see, the longbow with the aftermarket part is very strong in the tier three zone, but is it better than the base version? Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. Immediately, you'll notice with the base version, we now have 80 bullets, which is really 40 bullets because you're shooting two at a time. But, uh, oh, what? Did that, uh, it looked like that zombie just turned into a mangler. It looked like the mangler spawned as soon as the zombie died. Uh, it kind of freaked me out there for a second. The main difference between this version and the version we were just using is this one's going to shoot faster, but it's also going to be doing less damage. Does it one-shot a normal zombie? So if you aim for the head, it's still going to one-shot a normal zombie. What about an armored zombie? There we go. Oh, yeah, so the base version still one-shot headshots and armored zombie. So technically, the aftermarket part version does more damage, but it doesn't matter if it's a one-shot regardless. Yeah, I really can't tell that this one's 20% faster. What I can tell is the mag size is way bigger. Getting double the mag size is probably the best part about using the base version. So when it comes to normal zombies, the base version is definitely better. But what about bosses? That's really where the extra damage would help the aftermarket part. All right, Disciple... Uh, it feels about the same. Maybe it takes one extra shot with the base version to take down a disciple. Oh, and there's a mega. Well, this is one way to test it. Still breaks the faces off really easy. Oh, and the damage it does base also really good. It is chunking away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And a couple more shots. She's gone. Yeah, taking down the Mega Abomination, I really didn't notice a difference. The only thing I noticed is I was reloading way less. When it comes to bosses, it definitely feels like the aftermarket part was taking them down a little bit quicker. But does that make running the aftermarket part worth it? Honestly, unless it's good against the worm, no. Because I'd rather have the one that kills zombies quicker. And the normal version with the bigger magazine and the faster fire rate is going to take down normal zombies quicker because they both take them down in one shot. And clearly, if they both take zombies down in one shot, whichever version shoots faster and has a bigger magazine is going to kill more zombies per minute. Uh, and that's going to be the base version. Uh, but you can't go into tax stance with this version. We try to go into tax stance. You can see nothing happens. And I did kind of like tax stance a little bit. However, it's not worth having the smaller magazine to get tax stance on it. We're back on the aftermarket part version. Let's see how it fares against Stormcaller. Ooh. Maybe once we break his mask. Not terrible. Come on, come on, come on. I can't even see. And gone. When it comes to taking down Stormcaller, pretty decent option. Actually, probably one of the better options. It took him down and what? Two reloads? And that's with the smaller magazine of the amp. Take the Golden Skull. Don't really need it, but hey, I worked for this. Don't worry, zombie. I'll protect you from the mercenary. Don't worry, mercenary, I'll protect you from the zombie. This might actually be pretty good against the worms. It was decent against bosses, so... However, the real question is, is can I get all of the Serpentinite and the Borealis kills before the worm boss fight? We've got 33 minutes to get 2,200 kills. That's a lot of kills. 900 kills with Serpentinite. I got it set up for a little bit of one-hand farming action, Craig. You know what I mean? Although the spawns flip, where are the zombies at? Where are these zombies going, Craig? They're not even running towards us. Yeah, they're just running way off to the right to take, I guess, the walkway. They don't like walking in the grass. Ah, the farming all the zombies. First time farming at the new Outlast contract. Some of the biggest content we got this season. New Outlast contract location. Where are these zombies spawning? Is that, is that is that the only spawn point? All right, I'm liking this. Oh wait, there's a rank up. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. Surface night, let's switch. All right, we're running really low on time. Craig, you're, whoa, yours is so much slower. Yeah, I don't know why Craig's got the slow chamber on it. Well, zone coming in, still don't have it. All right, I'm coming. Thank you, I'll take this one back. Oh. <laughs> it's so nice. Come on, worm. I'm ready. There she blow. Woo. 
Oh, it looked like it was doing way more when it first started. This isn't that great. Not bad, but I thought it was way better for the first few hits. You okay, Craig? Apparently not. You okay, Lego? Shut up, Craig. Craig, you think we get this? Yeah, seven minutes with half health. I just feel like it's taking forever. This is not a fun fight. Having a blast, Craig. Oh, and I'm getting swallowed. Okay, now I'm starting to wonder if we got this. Well, Craig, there's a countdown now. <laughs> yeah. It's not looking good. Well, um, it, it is not a good warm weapon. I can tell you that right now. It was so weird. It looked like it was good for the first few seconds, but no, this is... Yeah, we're going to fail it. No, nope. I worm. Yeah, we're dead. Ah! Real quick walk of shame game. We've got to get 300 kills with Borealis because we didn't manage to finish it last game. So, whole other game just to get 300 quick killaroonies. Oh, there we go. And the Ultra Mastery now done for the longbow. So long story short, yeah, the new aftermarket part adds more damage to the longbow. But honestly, I think you're better off just using the base version because it shoots faster and you get the bigger magazine. Not saying the aftermarket part's bad. It's just not as good as the base version. It's still very strong, but the base version's better. But with that, we're getting pretty close to getting the Ultra Mastery. That's another one added to the list. I think we're, what, 15 weapons off of getting the Ultra Mastery now? So slowly but surely, hopefully we'll get it done this season. This was the longbow class setup we were using. We had the Pro 99 long barrel. We had the Cronin Antlass MSP-12 for the site. The no stock, the SAM quick bolt. This one's very important. Then obviously we had the conversion kit on. But honestly, I think you're better off taking this conversion kit off and then putting on the 40 round mag. And I think this is a way better build. But uh, yeah, the one we were running in the video was this one right here. If you want to see more Pack-A-Punch testing videos like this in the future, where we take a weapon into zombies, fully max it out, try it against the Mega Abomination, the Red Worm World boss fight, make sure to unlock that sub button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Peace. Lego unlocked. He's Lego unlocked. It's going to unlock all these camels.